what's up everybody once again a new 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 video we are here against the former rank one jungler in na tarzan another challenger kane game this time it's kane against kha'zix now tarzan is actually one of the harder jungs to play against in solo queue but we're gonna see if we can uh we can best them usually we do in solo queue so i'm not really nervous here All right, so remember first things first, gotta make sure we don't get invaded at the, cover of the entrance ways. So. Make sure that everything's uh, all nice and relaxed. I don't really know anybody on his team. This guy is a Darius man. This guy is a Kane man. This guy, I don't know who he is. And why is a challenger support, so. Our team's not really that bad. We have an Ari bot, uh, a Blaze Olive mid who's really good, Fallen Bandit top who's also really good. So, I mean, this is a pretty uh, mid to high challenger game. I mean, this is definitely going to be a good game, I think. So, we just got to play smart, got to play the map well. Got to make sure that we get those early trinkets. I want to start here and see uh, exactly what path I can get down. I think with the Nikali, definitely, it's super, super good. So, Kha'Zix is pretty weak early on, which is why this matchup is pretty good. I say it's about a 60-40 favoring Kha'Zix, but if I can get my form safely, I think I'm just going to demolish their team. So, I'm not really too worried. I definitely am going to go Red Kane this game, and I intend to go Red Smite as well. So, be on the lookout for that. So, because I didn't get too amazing of a leash, I'm actually going to get my W second here. You guys will see uh, that's quick of a path thing this could be. Gonna make sure you hit all your abilities. It looks like Kha'Zix is starting red, as far as we can see. So that's pretty good. Oh. All right, just gonna kite this out. You have to do a lot of kiting with your path thing. Stay as full as HP as you can. Alrighty. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Um. So Kha'Zix started red. He hasn't shown on the map yet. He hasn't gone first scuttle yet. So he's probably farming upwards. Okay, no, now we see him. So he did Krugs into Raptors. And now we see him over there, so. Probably gonna look to aid me or something. I'm gonna take this. You actually get a lot of mana for doing the scuttle. I have no clue where he is or if he knows where I am, so. Gonna be very cautious here. So he's gonna go to my blue right now, actually. So this means that we're splitting the map. Splitting the map essentially means that he farms my entire bot side and I farm his entire top side. Um, it looks like Camille is actually going to stop me here. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, I was going to go look to fighter. I wouldn't want to fight her if I had a tank. Uh, if I had a tank blue buff prior to it. That'd be pretty rough. So, you want to stand on the wall here just to be able to queue as quick as you can. So, this is just the fastest you can possibly path. I don't need to smite it yet because we know where he is. E for more HP. I don't really think I could do much for a gank here. Yeah, I'm Kane, so I don't want to show myself because if I show myself, it's gonna lead to me not getting uh, you know, the camps and whatnot. So I mean, this is pretty good. If you're just farming equally with the Kha'Zix, it's usually gonna be more beneficial for yourself. So, especially as a Kane, so. I'm pretty satisfied so far. How things are going. So Kha'Zix went mid. He didn't farm his raptors, but he farmed every other camp, so... Something to note. We have a pretty good base here. We've to my boots. Our Krugs are going to be spawning soon, so there's that to look forward to. Yeah, like I said, I didn't think I can really get a gank off mid. It just didn't look uh, possible to me. I don't know. I, we might be able to bait this casting in right here, actually. You're going to die. Just be on the lookout for it. Okay, so he already flashed. I don't know if he did or not. Okay, sweet. Pretty good. I hope we push out a little bit. Okay, so 
That's uh, cast in barrier. See, she actually pinged barrier early on, but it turned out that he didn't use it. So I'm glad that I definitely did not go early on, because <laughs> uh, he he would live for sure. Yeah. Um. So I mean, that's really good. That's really good. Getting a Kalia kill there. Didn't even have to use anything. So very well played. So we just got to be very careful not to die to Kha'Zix. I'm going to ping that he's around bot side because Scuttle just spawns. So it logically makes sense. Most junglers will path towards the Scuttle. Because it's kind of like a free camp. So I would say just be cautious. Um, my bot side should be spawning soon and so should his top side. So I just need to see if he shows on the map to know which one do I go to right now. I think I'll get Sweeper for the time being. It's pretty good early on. Might be in my bot jungle right now. I have no real way of knowing. Um, so he just came from there. I think he just secured Scuttle. You said it's not I don't want to look to gank mid as well though, is the thing here. Okay, so there's Gromp. That was right. And he was going to his top gun. I I took the guess there. I took the safe way. So going to my jungle. So actually benefits us, I think. I think we can actually gank down here, because I'm about to be sick soon. Okay. So that's two free kills. That was really good setup, and I had a lot of XP, so you know, that was just overall really free. Um, yeah, I hope them push one more wave. It's gonna... No, I'm just helping. I guess they didn't need me. I wasn't trying to take the CS, I just wanted to help shove the wave as quick as possible in case Kha'Zix like, ran straight down. He might run right to my red right now, so I'm kind of cautious of that. I'm going to ping this guy to be careful, because uh, obviously if you guys didn't know, um, when Kha'Zix ran from the river, he took my, um, he took the scuttle. So that's why I didn't even go to like look for it or check it, because it was already gone. So this is a pretty good setup. Usually if you win early game, Against any jungler as a cane, you'll usually just win the game. Make sure I sweep just in case it's hidden in the bush. Yeah, so. This game looks pretty free so far. I don't know. Because once I get my form, the game's practically over. Like I said, Tarzan's a really good jungler, but I don't really struggle against him at all. I think I've just played against him too much to where I know what he's doing. Can't really match a cane in farming either. So. I'm just going to ping the MBK because it looks like that's the only place where they can make a play. Um. Sorry if I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm just trying to think. It's hard to focus and talk at the same time in challenger games. The Raptors are going to respawn soon, so I'll be on the lookout for that. Kha'Zix is going to be around bot side, like I said. Looks like he's just playing bot mid. Kind of playoff. Boy, he thinks he can do good. Okay, so. Arm this. Then go straight to my blue. I have a lot of gold as well. Once I get my form, I'll be really, really big. Hopefully I could just get my blue here. Damn, I fucked that up. Usually you can eat through this entire section, but I actually fucked that up. Yeah, Kha'Zix might have just taken it. Hoping that he didn't. It. Yeah, so he didn't. So this is really good. Okay, there he is. He has finally shown himself. Might be able to do something bot again. I don't know. Oh, he actually got the scuttle and ran straight top. That was a really good pathing by him. And he got the kill top. Alright, I'm just gonna base. I don't really have all too much damage. I should just back off. Sent. Okay, that was a good trade, because I'm going to get a lot of orbs off that. Yeah, now we're only like a quarter way to my uh, form, so that's pretty good. Can help her go to land. No issues? No issues? Alright, sweet. Still don't have my form. See, this is the slow part of the game, where this is where any other jungler can uh, carry over you if they're really good. 
if they make a lot of plays on the map when you're formless, it's pretty uh, pretty big. I have a lot of gold though, so it's on my base, so I'll just have a lot of damage. Obviously, uh, this game, I'm going to be going... Uh, I don't think I'm going to... I think I'm going to go full damage this game. I don't need Spear of Visage. Their mid laner is auto -flow and he's pretty behind, so I think I'm just going to go like full AD. I'm going to go... Um, Red Smite... Black Cleaver, Ninja Tabby. Then I'll go Death Stance, actually. And then uh, after Death Stance, I'll go... Ooh, damn, nice. Well played. Okay, that was good. Maybe I can even kill that Camille. Yeah, after uh, after this, I'm going to get Black Cleaver. I mean, um, after Death Stance, I'm going to get GA. And then last item, I could probably get a Mortal Reminder if Raven has a lot of healing. I don't know yet. I can tell. Okay, so she has no fly. Alright, so I think that gets me my form. I'll push out the wave so it doesn't have to use his TP. Oh, okay. Actually, he could use his TP and we just get tower. Okay, so I have form now, so I'm really big. And this guy is, I mean, we're getting first tower, so that's insane. This is really good for our team. Alright, I think I will just get Ninja Tabby right now, I don't know. It was like I can't lose any skirmishes with my R and Ninja Tabby. And I can get a control ward, so that's all really good. So right now, ideally, what I want to look to do... Uh, just start taking the tier 1 towers. He just got Cloud, so he's trying to force objectives. Cloud's a pretty weak drag on them, I think, because they don't really need the extra mobility for rotation. So I feel like, honestly, that's kind of a waste of time, but he doesn't really have anything else to do. I don't know. So this guy got Scuttle. Um, it looks like we're going to try and force mid, which we can easily do, I think. With Akali and Kane, you could just tower dive really fucking easy. Yeah, no one comes. I think. I think I'll just help them auto. I was waiting for someone to come, but I have no clue where that Essen is, so. Okay, huh. yeah, so we got tower. Alright, just getting out. Kha'Zix is right there, showing himself. So ahead of a CS of him, so it's pretty fucking good. Alright. I can make a play bar right now. Control ward. Alright. Definitely. Alright, I'll let them chase and I'll just take the tower. This is pretty fucking good. So we got all the tier 1 towers now. Now we just need to set up vision and the enemy drawing. And you, uh, pressuring. Close the gap. Oh yeah, we need to take Rift as well. I completely forgot about that. Kha'Zix might be soloing right now is the issue, but honestly, if he is, I mean, two kills and a tower is way more worth than Rift. It's just, we could really benefit off this, so I'm just going to try and get it. And run right th Oh yeah, I see. He didn't really have any other options, so that's why I pinged it. I knew that he'd be on it. Yeah, I think if he dies, it's still really worth though. Looks like he is going to die. Okay, sweet. Alright, well, I mean, that was really good. Did get the rift, but, uh... Fine. I think go look at Jung right now. Try and see if anything's up. I thought there is. Ow. Ah, I was not expecting 3 to be there. That was very, very uh, greedy by me. I should have waited for Alistar ideally. 
to go ward the John because obviously he has the wards and for me to take camps I would need the vision. So I mean that was just a very greedy play by me. Or very stupid. I mean it's not gonna be that punishing. Um even gold to them really sucks, but it's not the end of the world to be honest. You know, if I was like kinda know, yeah, that'd be huge, but it's just a minor mistake. Honestly, sometimes you just make those because you're so ahead of yourself that you're like, damn, I can fight anybody, and then you're like, oh, wait, I can fight anybody, but I can't fight three people at the same time. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that. I mean, it wasn't that unwinnable of a fight. I think if. Uh, hmm, how could I have won that really hard? I don't know. No, I think I did that as best as I could. But once you get black flavor, oh, trust me, I could, I could win that 1v3 once you get black flavor. Don't even get me started once I get Death Stance. I think I can honestly, if the game goes on long enough, uh, you guys could see me 1v5 their entire team. See, that's the thing with these videos, is I always end them early. Uh, high low challenger games don't really go on too long, so you either win them early or you don't. So, I would love for you guys to one day see, uh, you know, like a full build cane game. It gets so exciting because you can literally 1v5 at some points. Really, really fun to watch, I think. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll definitely get around to uploading, like, full gameplay and, like, uh, on, like, a Unranked to Challenger series. I have, like, multiple Hyalo accounts, so, I mean, it, it wouldn't take too long to do an Unranked to Challenger. I just need to level the account, which is, like, the tedious part. Okay, well, Kha'Zix is coming, so gotta be careful there. Alright, we're kind of throwing a little bit. Wait, she killed him? Damn, I looked away for one second. I don't know how he killed him. I'll be real honest with you. That was crazy. Alright. I have black flavor now, so I'm literally huge. The mill was really fast, so I didn't know if she was going to try and like stand still to dodge it or keep moving. A lot of times you have to guess in high elo. Once you kind of get comfortable understanding who the players are, then you can kind of know their like uh, dodge patterns. I'll be honest, I don't really know who that guy is. I've seen him a couple times. He's not a bad player, I just haven't really played against him a lot. I, I don't know to throw the skill shot in front of him or at him or behind him, you know. So, oh I know, for a future map your measures. I know st stuff like this seems weird, but when you play as much as I do in like high elo, you know, you start to know like everybody. So you get to understand like a lot about these people. All right, well, I'm really big now. One damage. I love, love, love when you're fucking doing good and you can just build full damage. Such a satisfying feeling, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so. Definitely want to look to get Cloud Drag here. If we can get a fight anytime, it might send multiple top, which is kind of nerve wracking. I do not want that. I can honestly fight here. I don't know. Okay, well, that guy like flash and everything. Okay. I needed Alistar to use his abilities on, uh, what's his name? Oh, that is actually very risky. We don't really have too good of a scaling comp, so we need to play a lot smarter, because we're just giving up a lot of shit for free right now. I think I could have hit that W, but I fucking, like, misclicked my mouse. Like, I moved it a little too far. It was actually pretty stupid, but I don't think it would have gotten me anything, really. It possibly could have saved my flash, but I thought that we were going to fight, but Alistar was, like, saving his abilities. If he, like, went into flash or something, I definitely would have been... I think we could have won that fight super easily, so... I don't know. I'll just tell him next time we could fight. No. Definitely no problem for it, but... As for now, you know. Obviously that didn't go too well. Okay, that's good. Free pick.
know I really, really love having blue buff on Kane because you can just use all your mana to move around super quick. But right now I don't have it, so it kind of sucks. That was pretty well played by the Alistar. It's a nice job, I think. Coming. Right here. Yeah, I definitely can. Huh. Wait, knocked him away! No, bro! Oh, I might have saved him. Damn. Oh, that's a troll. Oh, no, never mind. I got him. There you go. <laughs> job. That's pretty good. I don't know what Gragas was doing. I think a lot of times in high elo, people just get tilted and start doing weird stuff. I mean, be fair, Tarzan's one of those players that's pretty well known for tilting his team, so... I mean, I don't want to jump to rude assumptions, but... I've definitely been on the, the negative end of being on his team, it's like Tyler1. They're great players though, but just a, sometimes they get a little too passionate. You should save your words for after game if you ever want to focus on winning. Like, let's say if I wanted to be toxic, I probably could have flamed the, the Alistar for trolling a bit by not going into fight in the right fights, but it's like, there's no point. I mean, he's challenger for a reason. Like, people are the rank, like, let's say you're in a rank game, uh, people are the same rank as you for, like, a reason. Like, just because they have, like, a bad beginning or lane phase doesn't mean that they're necessarily the worst player out there now. Don't get me wrong, some players, yeah, they might have really bad games, but I don't think typing ever really makes them play better. If anything, even typing, like, positivity stuff, it just makes everyone play worse. That's why I don't normally type in solo queue when I'm trying to climb. Okay, I think we could just fight here. Yeah, I knew Kha'Zix would be down somewhere. Oh, I hit him. So he got knocked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the way that thing works, it's kind of weird sometimes. Shit. <laughs> Dude, Ari's, Ari bot lane seems pretty good. I I didn't, I wasn't sure if it was serious, but it actually looks pretty legit right now. Oh. You have so many jumps and like dashes away. It's actually kind of hard to play Kane. I think I'm. I feel like if they were more fed, Red Smite would be really good for us. Like if if they weren't so behind, Red Smite would have been really good. But I feel like if I'm this ahead, I should have went Blue Smite. Cause you know they they just have so many like jumps. Like uh, uh like four of them have jumps away. So that's pretty crazy. I don't know if this guy wants this. Yeah, right, I'll take it. I guess. Sweet. That was really good. See, like I said, Alistar is playing really fucking good now. Oof, I'm out of mana. 616. All I need is five more deaths, and I'm fulfilling my Kane prophecy. Oh, there's the game. Alright, well, that's a 23 minute win game. Boys, this was a really fun game. Be sure to sub or like that video. Great game against Mr. Rank 1 Tarzan. Love you all.